Well, Dr. Plainer, we talked about glaucoma, and um, let's talk about macular degeneration, um, which is the illness where um, the eye illness where you basically um, it's the opposite of glaucoma in, in terms of vision. You start seeing badly at the center where you look at and your outside is quite okay versus glaucoma where your outside becomes bad and your inside is still okay. So let's talk about that one. Detection, prevention, will it lead to blindness? Can it be prevented if it is uh, detected relatively early or at, at any given time? Can it be made retroactive, uh, meaning made better? Shade some light on it. Macular degeneration, there really is no reversal for that. Uh, if you've got it and it's progressing, uh, you can't get better with it. You just want to keep it from getting worse at that particular point. And there's two, uh, two types of uh, macular degeneration. One is wet. The other is dry. Mm. Uh, both of them are kind of bad, but the worst of the two is going to be the wet macular degeneration because that is in a really a liquefaction of the retina at that particular point, and you really don't want to get that one. The dry macular degeneration, if the damage is done, it's there. Now you go ahead and try to get done what you can get done, and usually it's uh, looking through some type of uh, optical device that allows you to see figures bigger than what it actually is so that the letters that you're looking at or the television that you're looking at is bigger than the area of the retina that's been destroyed from the macular degeneration. Uh, you know, we don't really know what the cause of macular degeneration is. We do know that if you have it in your family, that you're going to be predisposed to get it. It's usually an older uh, age group that gets it. It's not the young that get it. So it's a matter of time. A lot of research recently has been indicated that the ultraviolet radiation or the non-wearing of sunglasses speeds up the process at that particular point. But one of the best things that you can do is if you know of somebody in your immediate family, mom, dad, grandparents, that has macular degeneration, they've got uh, supplements that you can take at an early age to go ahead and fight off the onset of macular degeneration. There's a number of supplements out there that are very good with slowing down or preventing macular degeneration from happening to you. It's sad that your family or your parents or your grandparents got it, but at least now you're aware that it's in your family and you can take steps to go ahead and prevent it. Okay. Uh, well, what are some of those uh, supplements, uh, like some type of antioxidant supplements? What are we talking about here? Well, antioxidants are being linked to uh, just about anything health-wise, uh, especially in the retina. The, a lot of uh, antioxidants out there that will uh, keep the retina healthy, vibrant, and functioning the way it should be because of all the neurotransmitters that love that uh, 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 supplement. Uh, the number one thing that we've kind of associated with macular degeneration is a ocular supplement that has the ingredient of lutein, L-E-U-T-I-N. Lutein seems to be the magic uh, substance to slowing down the progression of macular degeneration or preventing it if you don't have it and it's in your family. So I would strongly recommend an ocular supplement of some type that has lutein in it. Mm. So... In which way it comes, that's just, I um, mean, some obviously are better than others. Um, you just need to try work and get good ones and maybe get, get, get the recommendation of, a, of, a, of, a, of an optometrist like you who says, well, we found this brand to be good and this brand to be good. Well, a absolutely. I mean, there's two that I recommend. One is Ocuvite and the other is ICAPS. Uh, either one of those I've been using for the last few years and they seem to be working pretty well. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that's it about anything else we need to know about macular degeneration. Um, you know, any, any uh, it's, it's, it's a devastating uh, uh, disease, uh, and really there's no cure for it. If you've got it and you let it go and you don't do something about it, your quality of life is going to be pretty much limited to sitting in a chair and listening to music or listening to uh, uh, book readings and stuff like that. So get in, get it looked at, get it checked out if it's in your family. What's the time frame of, let's say, progressing? So you said it, it, it gets elder people. I don't know what elder means. Does that mean 40? Does that mean 50, 60? Um, 
You're going to be looking at in the uh, mid to late 50s is uh, is an onset kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, sub uh, microscopically, it may have gotten started in the 40s because it's a long, insidious disease. So, like I said, if it's in your family, the earlier that you can start taking those supplements, the better that you're going to be with preventing this devastating disease. And then, and then it like takes four, five, ten years to progress to a really bad stage once you start noticing it or less. So, or, or what are we talking about? Again, it's a probably different for everybody, of course, but uh, what's a good Absolutely. Story? Uh, and again, 10, 15 years is probably a good time span to figure that you're going to be losing your vision. But I would hope that it, somebody would take enough care about their eyes to initiate some kind of treatment before it gets that bad. Okay. And other treatments, like rather than the lutein, I'm not against it. I'm a very heavy vitamin taker mm-hmm. and all that type of stuff uh, by, by truckload. So that would be, I would go, yeah, this is great. Just add lutein on it uh, and a few other ones. But um um, are there treatments? Are there, are there, are there surgeries? Uh, not really any surgeries to do it, but there is some treatments out there where they can inject some medicine in the eye that seems to uh, help somewhat, but nothing is out there that's going to help uh, get you restore the vision to what it once was. But there are some uh, end-stage treatments that, uh, that they can inject medicine in the eye that will go ahead and help out, maybe regain a little bit of vision, and definitely stop it from getting a lot worse than what it already is. Well... Very informative, like always, uh, Dr. Plenty. Thanks a lot. I'm sure it will help a lot of people to make that step and do something because it really looks like it's uh, it's quite preventative. Yes, you may be predisposed uh, to it from genetics. Uh, that's fine. I mean, what it is is what it is. Um, but uh, but boy, it can be it can be halted. It can be drastically delayed and drastically delayed when you're 60 and whether something happens in 15 years or in 30 years is a big difference, right? Uh, a tremendous big difference. It allows you to kind of see the things that you need to see and enjoy life the way you want to enjoy it. Yeah. Well, Dr. Blandis, thanks for telling us. You're very welcome. Good to be here.